people, including waterfowlers, live busy lives. So if you had to think about gun shying your dog really fast, you don't have a lot of time on your hands, I'm gonna give you three easy ways that you can get your dog gun shy really, really quick. Number one, and this is commonly the way people introduce gunfire to puppies. They put the food down, let the puppy eat, and shoot a pistol off right behind its head. That's a sure way to entrench some fears. It may not show up then, but it's likely to later. Think about a child that's three to four years old eating Cocoa Puffs Saturday morning. You walk up behind him and pop the pistol. What do you think is going to happen to the Cocoa Puffs? Number two, using something like a launcher. This is the fastest way to gun shy a dog. These are great training tools, but not to introduce gunfire. But let's say we want to get it done fast. We're going to pop this thing, the gun goes off, the crack of this thing is pretty severe. Puppy jumps and you think, hey, I'll get him over it. I'll just keep reloading and shooting over and over again. Actually, what you're doing is entrenching the fear. So if you want to entrench the fear very, very well, just stand there and keep doing it. Never shoot one of these things over a puppy's head unless you're serious about it, you're shine your dog. And the third one, is taking a dog hunting too early, a puppy, just to stick them in the duck blind to acclimate them. Primarily, you're going to gun shy the dog, and it may not show up there, but you can really get an entrenched fear and not even recognize it. One of the ways he's in the bottom of the blind, you open three three-inch magnums over his head. Think about what the impact on these dogs' ears. Their hearing is so much more acute than yours. It's like hitting them in the head with a waffle bat. So, if you got, don't have a lot of time on your hands, these are three sure ways to get your dog gun shy. Now obviously, I'm not being serious here, but people keep making these same mistakes over and over again. So I thought this may be a different approach that Deke and I can teach you a little bit about the proper way of doing gunfire, which is progressive when the dog is distracted by a bumper being thrown and the gun is way away and you slowly bring it closer. Dogs learn through progression, not surprise.